How you doing, Lion fans? I'm Keontae Herrera, and I'm here with Coach Burton, Gabby Scott, and Amari Jones. So, Gabby Scott, you had a great game last game, 28 points, um, 10 of 15 shooting. How do you plan on taking that momentum from last game into this weekend against Roger State? Um, really, it was a great team win, and we really just have to build on it. So, that was my game to go off, and with the system that coaches put us in, anybody's night, basically. Roger State's outscores their opponents 86 to 68 in the fourth quarter. Um, how important will it be for you guys to finish in order to get this victory? Uh, it's very important because if you don't finish, you don't get a victory, correct? So, uh, really, we just have to come out, play hard for the entire 40 minutes, as Coach Burton loves to say. Um, and that's how we're going to get the dub. Got to lock up and execute. Thank you. Thank you. So, Amari, um, the team is 3-3 three and three on the season, and you lead the team with steals, blocks, and rebounds. How do you feel about the opening month of the season for your team as well as yourself? Um, I really just feel like we just have to keep doing what we've been doing, but also keep getting better. So, emphasize on what we've been doing. And um, same goes for me. Emphasize what I've been doing. So this weekend, you're playing against Roger State. It will be something like a homecoming for you. Are you excited about playing against your uh, former team? Um, yeah, well, I'm more so excited about being close to home or playing close to home and my family be able to be there and be able to help that momentum for the game. Thank you. Thank you. So Coach Burton taking on Roger State this weekend, Claremore, Oklahoma. What have been some points of emphasis and practice this week? Uh, building, building on what the things we've done well. In the last game, we did a great job of playing defense. Uh, we had a game plan going in to really stop the, the three-point line and did a great job of, of guarding them and guarding a unique style of play. And, and then building on um, our offense. You know, that was the first time we, we really shared the ball that well. 19 assists, it was a season high for us, and so we've got to build, build on that. And then uh, clean up the turnovers. We had 19 turnovers, which was also a, a season high, and so uh, we've got to do a better job of just not being careless um, and, and being silent. We've done a good job all year really being solid with the ball. And so just getting back to, to playing basketball how we were in the previous game as far as taking care of the ball. Um, but other emphasis is, is, is defense again. And like I said, we had a good game last game of, of playing defense, but we played two different unique styles. And so we played Washtenaw Baptist, who ran to Princeton, and we played Southeastern Oklahoma State, who played five guards. And so we had to do some things differently versus them, where Roger State is more similar to us. You know, they have a traditional four and five, and and they do a lot of ball screen stuff, and, and we have to be able to um, not only stop the transition, but stop their, their drive in the half court and know where shooters are. And so just getting back to shell defense and getting back to, to guarding you know, traditional bigs. Talking to, when talking about those bigs, um, Roger State's Natasha Kindred and Lauren Schultz, they average just under 18 points per game. How do you plan on containing them and controlling the paint on the defensive end? Well, we have a pretty good defender in, in Amari Jones and Brittany Adams and, and Aldrissa who leads us in charges. And then um, Artesia Gay is going to have her first game back. And so we feel like our, our post depth is back. And we've, we've played against bigs before. You know, we played against Metro State and Pueblo who had some really good bigs. We played against uh, Washita Baptist who had some bigs who could stretch the floor. And uh, our guards also do a great job of rebounding. They do a great job of, of helping down when they need to. And so it's nothing we haven't played before. It's just it's just we haven't played them in a couple games. And so uh, getting back to doing that, but we do it every day in practice. You know, we're, I, I feel like our, our four bigs are, are all different, but they're all good and unique. And so to have to guard each other in practice is a challenge every day. And so, um, you know, we're able to get different looks in, in practice. And, and uh, um, you know, it, it's going to be a challenge, but it's nothing that we're not capable of doing. As we enter into the month of December, you have – only one game at home, so making you road warriors for the rest of this month. How do you feel about the upcoming challenges on being on the road? Uh, we're, we're excited about it. And the one thing we need to do is continue to, to build chemistry together. We have um, a lot of veterans, but a lot, of, a lot of new faces. And so, you know, people like Amari Jones, who is new to us, and then you know, our back where we got three guards who are juniors and seniors, but they, they, they're new to us. And so uh, the road gives us a chance to build that chemistry, to be in hotels and to spend some time together away from commerce and to, to not just uh, build the encore chemistry, but build the, build the chemistry off the floor. And then uh, it, it's going to test us. You know, we, we need that test for the Lone Star Conference. It's tough to go out to West Texas and to, uh, to play at Tarleton or play at Midwestern or, or the long trips to Kingsville and Eastern. Uh, everywhere you go in the Lone Star Conference to play on the road in, in somebody else's gym is tough. And so uh, this month of December, playing against Roger State to start out with and then going to 
St. Ed's and Texas State. We got two two Division One opponents this month, and so uh, we feel like it's going to challenge us for for the Lone Star Conference. But it's nothing that we can't do. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate it.